Labrador Retriever in the movies. The Labrador Retriever has appeared in films such as Proof 1991, Summertime 2008, The White Bus 1967, Family Guy 1999, Bot Jack Horseman 2020, Failure to Launch 2006. Breed standards may change over time. Both appearance standards and standards regarding breed character or working qualities may change. The works of art of the early years depict the most typical representatives of the breeds of that time. Comparing with the modern appearance of the breed, you will be able to assess how much the breed has changed over time. Also of interest are archival photographs of specific breeds, which you can find on the internet in specialized forums about the breed. Historical reference of the breed and subgroup. The origin of the Labrador has not been precisely established, but it is known that its ancestors were North American Indian dogs that helped fishermen pull nets. For the first time, Europeans saw these hardworking animals in the port of St. John's, so they originally received the name of St. John's dogs. There are several versions about the origin of the name of this breed. The first Labradors were exclusively black, resembling a Labradorite stone in color. Perhaps, in honor of this stone, Labradors got their name. According to the second version, the ancestors of Labradors were bred on the Labrador Peninsula. Well, finally, according to the third assumption, the Portuguese were the first to see Labradors, and, amazed by their amazing performance, they called them Labradors, which means worker in Portuguese. In the 18th century, English fishermen began to take Labradors on board, serving as their faithful assistants. Dogs helped with fishing, rescued people in a storm, they transported things where horses could not go. What is the secret of the attractiveness of Labradors, who have gained such significant popularity, and are consistently among the five most numerous breeds in the world? The explanation lies in the history of the development of the breed, and, as a result, in the personality of individual dogs, in their bright individuality. If you look into the past of the breed, it becomes obvious that Labradors must be hardy, disease-resistant, not afraid of frost, unpretentious in food. Labradors do not stop tails or ears, they do not require expensive hair care. But the most important thing, of course, is the character and intelligence of these dogs. Due to their pedigree qualities, Labradors are widely used. For example, on a hunt, a Labrador will find and serve a shot game. As a matter of fact, this is the original role of dogs of the period of cultural selection. Since the middle of the last century, the Labrador has acted as a partner of a pointing dog. Other professions in the track record of Labradors appeared relatively recently, and, to a certain extent, are associated with his hunting abilities. Labradors work great in mountain, avalanche, water, seismic, rescue services. Thanks to their well-developed instinct, they are widely used at customs to search for drugs and explosives. When traveling, the Labrador can work as a draft dog. 80% of guide dogs in the world are Labradors. Here, an excellent memory for roots and innate forethought already play a role. And, finally, most importantly, the Labrador is one of the most obedient dogs, a devoted and intelligent companion. Representatives of this breed are devoid of aggressiveness, easy to train. This dog is ideal for keeping in the family, as each person will find for himself those qualities of a canine character that appeal to him the most. The Labrador is a sociable dog, which does not close on one family member, she loves everyone around her. Labrador quickly learns the habits of people, and firmly enters into their lives. He is able to work and make decisions independently, which is especially important in extreme conditions and hunting. This dog senses the danger, the threatens the people it loves and tries to keep and protect them. The Labrador gets along well with other animals, loves children very much, with whom he plays with pleasure, and on walks, serves as a reliable guard. The appearance of these dogs is quite impressive, besides, the Labrador has developed intuition, and he always carefully observes that his friends do not trouble happened. The value of Labrador friendship cannot be overestimated. Recently, in many countries, Labradors, who have undergone special training, have been used as medical dogs that brighten up the lives of babies in shelters and boarding schools for children with mental disorders. The Labrador Retriever is very strongly attached to the human family in which she lives. Some breeds are strongly attached to one person, others to all members of the human family, others may have a friendly attitude towards all people in general, and the fourth may not have close ties even with the owner. The Labrador Retriever is strongly attached to all members of the human family. They are also very happy with strangers. The attitude of any dog to strangers strongly depends on the breed of the pet, but even more strongly this attitude depends on the upbringing and socialization of a particular individual, while socialization in the early puppyhood of a pet is especially important in this regard. With children, the Labrador Retriever gets along great. However, regardless of the dog's friendly attitude towards children, a dog of any breed should not be left alone with small children. 
Some breeds of dogs are more relaxed about the behavior of young children and may not pay attention to semantics of children. However, it should be understood that dogs of all breeds, no matter how friendly they are, should be with children only under the supervision of the owner or adults. Since in addition to the qualities of the breed in relation to children, there are also the individual characteristics of each dog, its upbringing and previous experience in communicating with children. Even these relationships are largely influenced by the behavior of children. With other dogs, the Labrador Retriever also gets along very well, and they get along well with each other, if, of course, other dogs show similar behavior. Different breeds of dogs treat their own kind differently. Some dogs will play and interact in every possible way with dogs they meet or live with. Other breeds may try to dominate or even attack similar four-legged ones. At the same time, the relationship between dogs can be very different from how a dog will react to people. The behavior of a dog in relation to other dogs and people depends, not only on the breed, but also on the socialization of a particular individual. Communication Labrador Retriever with small pets such as hamsters, domestic rats, squirrels, chinchillas and other rodents should be limited. Cats usually get along well, if they live together. The Labrador Retriever is not suitable for those who have a dog for the first time. If you have little experience in keeping dogs before getting a Labrador Retriever, we advise you to study and detail information about the breed and, if possible, take specialized courses that will tell you about the methods of socialization and training of puppies. Labrador Retrievers can be kept in an apartment, however, this is not the best option for this breed due to their excessive activity. In addition, they do not tolerate loneliness and cannot be left alone for a long time. The quality and quantity of wool allow the Labrador Retriever to comfortably endure slight cold and short-term heat, but very low or high temperatures are no longer safe for the four-legged. Active loads should be avoided in the warm season. Learning and Training All dogs can be trained and trained, but some breeds remember and execute commands faster and more readily than other breeds. Different breeds need a different approach to training and education. Some breeds may appear to be poorly trainable or even stupid, however, in most cases, a dog breed's trainability is due to the stubborn or independent nature of the dog breeder individual. Also of great importance in the trainability of a dog is the role of what training methods the trainer uses for a particular breed. In the book The Intelligence of Dogs, published in 1994 and written by University of British Columbia Vancouver psychology professor Stanley Korn, the Labrador Retriever is ranked 7th out of 80 in terms of learning ability. In this regard, the breed stands next to such breeds as the German Shepherd, Golden Retriever, Doberman, and Rottweiler. In Professor Stanley Korn's book, The Labrador Retriever is in the group. Dogs with excellent learning abilities. Ability to understand a new command in less than five repetitions. Execution of the command from the first time in 95% of cases and above. Tendency to bark. Among other things, breeds differ in the level of noise, or rather, in the frequency of their barking. Some breeds can bark all the time without stopping, and never get tired of barking at every stranger or strange dog that passes by your house or by herself. Other breeds bark only on business, when it is necessary in her opinion, and still others can only give a voice in exceptional cases. The Labrador Retriever has a tendency to bark for no reason. These dogs are not deprived of the desire to gnaw. The desire to gnaw and taste everything is common to puppies of all breeds, but as adults, different breeds have varying degrees of propensity to explore the world with their teeth. The Labrador Retriever is very prone to such pranks. Activity and Energy Level According to the level of charge and activity, breeds can also be divided into active and calm or even lazy. An active dog will require constant walks, training and frequent mental stimulation from you. Calm and less energetic dogs will be happy with short walks around the house and will gladly share your desire to lie on the couch at home. This feature should be taken into account when choosing a pet, since the unfulfilled needs of an active animal will be realized at home on the things and objects of your home. The amount of energy in the dog also determines with what desire and for how long the dog will play games with you or with your child under your supervision. Labrador Retriever is very mobile, hyperactive, smart, insightful and obedient, affectionate, true friend, kind by nature, without a trace of aggression or excessive timidity. The Labrador is a hunting dog that, due to its unique qualities, can be used as a companion, guide, rescuer, and drug searcher. Labradors have a reputation for being a very even-tempered breed and an excellent family dog. Their cheerful boisterousness and lack of fear can sometimes require training to ensure it doesn't get out of control. An out-of-control adult Labrador Retriever can be quite problematic. Labradors mature at about 3 years of age. Before this time, they may have a significant degree of puppy energy, which is often erroneously referred to as hyperactive. Because of their enthusiasm, it is recommended to train your dog on a leash early on. Labradors love to get the ball. In addition, many breeds have an innate desire to chase moving objects and animals. The degree of this desire may vary from breed to breed. 
If this innate instinct is highly developed in a dog, you need to carefully monitor the pet during a walk, and keep it on a leash, since any moving object can provoke the dog to chase, even if it is a car, that can harm the animal. At such moments the dog can disobey the call of the owner, and switch all your attention to the moving target. In addition, such breeds pose an additional danger to small domestic animals and birds. However, although the Labrador Retriever has this instinct, it is most often able to cope with it. Passion for Vagrancy and Love of Freedom Some breeds have a tendency to cover long distances on their fours, for which they were bred, so these dogs, following their instinct, will not miss the opportunity to escape from you and run a couple of kilometers, despite your calls. Sled dogs, hounds and bloodhounds are mainly inclined to such walks. Labrador Retrievers generally do not run away from their owners. Tendency to Drool the amount of saliva produced depends on the characteristics of the breed. Some breeds salivate, so much that they can leave marks on the carpet, on the sofa, on the floor and on you. Other breeds also salivate, but this happens in much less quantities. Labrador Retriever does not produce much saliva. But the amount of wool that the Labrador Retriever leaves behind is quite large. The amount of dog hair in your home and on your clothes depends a lot on what breed you choose. Some breeds shed all year round, others only seasonally, others hardly shed. This characteristic of the breed can be important depending on where you plan to keep the pet, whether members of your family are allergic to animal hair, and how important it is to you in general. Dog care. Some breeds may require a lot of grooming and attention due to coat characteristics, muzzle shape, habitat, or the general health of the breed. Labrador retrievers have a tendency to gain weight, if not fed properly. Thick waterproof wool is enough combing and brushing one to two times a week. Labradors love movement. Adult dogs need daily long walks, at least half an hour in the morning, and two hours in the evening. Puppies need lots of play and activities. General health of the breed on a 10-point scale. The general health of dogs of this breed, and the possibility of the appearance of genetic diseases in them can be assessed on a 10-point scale of 7 points, that is, they are quite healthy dogs with a minimum number of genetically predisposed diseases. Labrador Retriever This is a healthy breed with relatively few major problems. Notable health and wellness issues include hereditary disorders and obesity, most lacking all a part of a gene that regulates appetite. A study by the Royal Veterinary College and a study by the University of Sydney concluded that chocolate Labradors have a shorter life expectancy than other colors of Labradors and are more likely to suffer from certain health problems. This is believed to be due to attempts by breeders to increase their numbers through selective breeding for coat color at the expense of other important health traits. Brown wool is naturally rare compared to yellow and black, and has been in vogue since the 1980s. This created a demand for more of them. Labrador puppies are not usually brought into the home until they are 8 weeks old. The average lifespan of a Labrador retriever is 10 to 12 years.